Howdy, it's Blake here, and if you've watched my videos, you know that my main goal is to help you make extra money. One of the ways I do this is by buying things at Walmarts, yes, the ubiquitous big box store all around the country, and selling those things online. I use eBay and Amazon. This process is called retail arbitrage, and if everything goes as good as it did last year, with these items we found in the store, I should easily make $10,000 profit in December. Stick around for the video, but first please subscribe, comment below with what interests you about this whole process, and like the video. Let's go. The first thing I'm looking for is sports cards. They're easy to sell, not so easy to find. I did find these NBA Chronicles Mega Boxes and Blaster Boxes. They are currently not selling for a profit, but uh, if I were to hold these mega boxes for three or four months, probably, I bet they will hit the $70 or $80 range. Now, uh, for my money, it's better to buy things that sell tomorrow or in a week and roll that profit over than hold out for this $10 or $15 profit after you take into account shipping and fees. So we're gonna leave them on the shelf. The next thing I like to do is scan the video games that are in the clearance section or any of the collectibles or DVDs or electronics in the clearance section looking for secret clearance. What is secret clearance? Why do they have this? Well, sometimes there is a communication uh, jumble between the sticker price and the actual clearance price. So in this case, the sticker clearance price is $14.88, but the actual secret clearance price is $8.88. And I find this out by using the Walmart app for your download, scan the barcode, uh, and as you can see right there on the screen, that is the actual price that I paid. Uh, I'll sell this for 30 bucks on Amazon using FBA, and I bet it'll sell uh, probably by December 15th. Reselling toys is a huge way to make some money this year. A lot of opportunity. So what I'm looking for is the Hot Wheels cars. I'm looking for like the Cybertruck Hot Wheels. Couldn't find any. Uh, I go over to the Mario Kart Hot Wheels, kind of a seasonal holiday type uh, gimmicky gift. Uh, they've got several variations, but the one that I found going for the most money goes for about 15 bucks is the Wario Hot Wheels Mario Kart toy uh, with like it's got a canopy on top for gliding. They're like wings, kind of. That sells for about 15 bucks. I found one of those in store. This next one is more like a tip than uh, an actual item I found, and that's if you go to the Walmart DVD bins. Uh, first of all, I bring two carts so you can sort them out, but second of all, look for the older months. So this is June 2021. The sticker says that right there. That's a few months old. This one sells for about 10 bucks profit. The newer ones, the uh, you know the, the most recent month releases at Walmart generally are priced matched by Amazon. So you can skip those, but the older months, uh, the supply has run out. So there's more profit there. Most Walmarts are different with how they clearance ink, like printer ink. At my Walmart, uh, they do 15, 10, 25, 20, 35, 40, and $5 increments. Uh, I did not find much ink here I could flip. These two for $15, I can sell them for about 30 bucks. I'm gonna bundle them together. That's the only way I could find profit out of all of this clearance ink. I will check back in a few weeks to see if they've marked it down even further, but if not, it's not really that profitable. I've always said that Equate brand products, that's Walmart's own like private label brand, are great for Amazon and eBay because Walmart does not sell directly on either of those platforms. Uh, this is allergy medicine. 25 milligrams, 100 tabs, normally four bucks, discounted in this store only, not other stores, it was kind of odd, to a buck 50, still had a, a 2023 expiration date, so I bought a bunch of these. I'll probably sell like four or five, four packs a month. Uh, I'll sell them on Amazon as well, and I'll make about, you know, between three to five dollars per four pack, or like two bucks per single. So not like huge ROI or huge profit here, but still just like easy, reliable stuff you can buy uh, to make an extra couple hundred bucks a month. I should probably say this like right about now in the video. I'm not saying buy these items because probably thousands of people are gonna watch this video. I'm saying this is how simple it is to scan stuff using the eBay app or the Amazon seller app, which are both free to use. You scan things, you find them. And what you're gonna see in the video in a little bit, like the next two or three items is once I found like big ticket items, not these little, you know, sell four or five a month, make 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there, like big items that I can sell in scale, that's when I go around to all the stores and buy them, buy up those items, you know, 
all they have in stock, basically. That's like the method for successful, in my opinion, retail arbitrage. You have your simple bread and butter, replenishable items you get at Dollar Tree or Walmart or wherever you go. And then occasionally you have these opportunities to make a lot of money, you know, buying several hundred, even a thousand sometimes of a specific item. And that's like your, your boons and your busts, more or less, hopefully just boons. But that's like the, the general methodology here. Okay, now we're on to the big stuff. And these are the things that actually you can like buy these same things that I'm talking about because they're going to be in such high demand that it's totally, uh, th th I don't think the market's going to flood. I think the demand will always be more than supply just because of the way things are. And I know this because last year I sold all these kinds of items and made thousands and thousands of dollars. It was really awesome. So I'm hoping if I start earlier, I'm starting November 1st, basically, I can make more money than that uh, and, and stockpile, you know, for the whole month of December basically so what we're looking at is uh cellos chocolate cherries queen anne cherries um these two main things sell really really well but make sure you're scanning the barcode because different configurations like six or five or twelve are going to have different asins on amazon and i'd say only sell on amazon because uh that's in my experience you get way more sales that way um, make sure you have the, the right ASINs for the right listings. Uh, in regards to like milk chocolate versus dark chocolate versus cherry cola versus vanilla or whatever, the weirder flavors like cherry uh, cola or vanilla or whatever there is, those do sell for more, but they sell much, much more infrequently. What I've learned is that dark chocolate sells the best. That seems to be in the right, like in the crosshairs. Uh, of kind of being not like a weird flavor, but definitely less popular than milk chocolate. Uh, and so we hit that supply and demand X right there. And it usually sells, you know, multiples a day. Last year I was selling 25 to 50 a day and I didn't have the buy box the whole time. I was competing for it still. Uh, so they sold really, really well. The milk chocolate, that had so much competition that it went down to like 10 cents profit. So I'm staying away from those. I'm only focusing on Cello's dark chocolate, uh, and then the Grinch Hershey Kisses. So the other flavors of Hershey Kisses, uh, specifically Sugar Cookie, which sold really well last year, that's currently gated. Uh, and I cannot sell that. I don't have a Hershey invoice. I don't know where to get one. I'm not sure what happened. But I guess because of last year, how many people sold hundreds and hundreds of bags of these, uh, Hershey's saying, hey, we're going we're gonna to put the kibosh on that. That being said, the Grinch... Uh, how he stole kisses, I think is like the actual name, um, is not gated. So right now, a single bag of these that sells for two seventy eight at Walmart sells for ten dollars and fifty cents manual or merchant fulfilled shipping on Amazon, uh, and the lowest FBA price is like thirteen ninety. So there is a huge, huge opportunity there. I think these Grinch kisses, they're already at a twenty thousand sales rank, twenty one thousand and some change. I think it's only going to get lower and lower. And based on my travels trying to find these and the cellos in Walmarts, not every store has these. Uh, they are either limited run or they're being like staggered. Uh, the supplies being staggered. Whatever it is, it creates an equation for really high profits in the retail arbitrage sector. I'd recommend you at least look these up. Uh, and that's going to be Grinch Kisses and Cellos Dark Chocolate or Queen Anne Cherries Dark Chocolate. There's more. All of the seasonal candy does really well. Last year, uh, the SpongeBob and the, the Mandalorian um, chocolate, hot chocolate balls, those were huge, just enormous. And so I'm just trying to, you know, give you a heads up. Go to your local Walmart, Kroger, Safeway, wherever you buy groceries from. Go to the holiday section and just spend 20 minutes or a half hour scanning every single barcode and seeing, okay, what can I make? If it costs three dollars, I can make a three dollar profit on. Uh, is the sales rank below like twenty thousand? Is it below forty thousand? Anything above forty thousand gets into the area where like you're not going to have dozens of sales a day. I mean, it can always change, but just that's like my basic rules of thumb. They're not hard and fast guarantees, but just like that's what I stick to. And I think if you do that. Uh, below forty thousand in grocery seasonal stuff, and you make sure that you are not like selling at a loss basically you're going to see enough volume there where it's probably going to be worth your time thank you for watching comment below with what you think about this uh, and if you're new subscribe like the video and uh, i will see you guys later because i love making content that helps you make money and have a better life